definitely become very weird. I know the first time we played through it was just like, ooh, weird girls. But it's, yeah. Ola Mal, sorry. I thought it was just DDLC Plus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not DDLC Plus. Welcome, Stefania. Welcome, Legend. Welcome, Um Simmer Simmer. Uh, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if you majored in English in university. Oh, welcome, guys. Thank God people are joining today. I, I got very worried people wouldn't join. Okay, okay. All right, let me open up chat. Steph, do not call me Steph. Guys, she's Stefania. Okay, okay. Guys, are you ready to hear the music? Ready? Ready? Give it a minute. Ready? 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 <gasps> oh, there it is! There it is! Okay. Oh, God, I need to show you the thing. Doki Doki! Yay! It's Doki Doki! Woo! Yay! Doki Doki scary game! Oh, God, it's so loud. Uh... Sorry, I'm turning it down. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, let's put it at like that. Because I'm going to be reading the whole time. My throat is going to get so raw. All right, is that good, guys, the music? I don't want it loud. It's a bit loud for me, actually. All right, guys, okay, that's good. I think that's good. Just let me know if it does go a bit loud. I'll turn me up a bit. Okay. But welcome back, guys. This is Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, uh, like it says at the top. Wait, did I put the trigger warning? Yeah, the trigger warning's up. Guys, it is mature content, all right? So watch your own risk. There's like themes of mental health problems in this. So just proceed with caution, all right? It's, it's mostly fine, but I think something, I don't know, something might happen, and I'm, I don't want to trigger anybody. Oh, I can see myself. Hello, me. Oh, it's slightly off. Hold on. The trigger warning's a bit off, off center. Uh. <laughs> Sorry. All right, let's go, let's go. I've kept you guys waiting. All right, load game. Oh, I don't care. Okay, so we left off here. I, f I believe Sayori is going to be off today, though. She's going to be a bit weird. Like, she's she's just kind of quiet, and it's it's off. Uh, all right, guys. I know what happens, but I'm still scared. Okay, all right. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've got a little bit more comfortable here over the past couple days. Oh, God. I'm <laughs> Don't get comfortable quick. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, woman! Oh, she seems normal. Yo, Sayori! Looks like you're in a good mood today. Eehee! <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you, anyway. Jeez. <laughs> Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks! <laughs> and then we wonder why she ends up the way she she is. Like, we're an awful friend. Like, disclaimer, this character, I do not want it to be associated with me. They, this character woman is horrible. Like, like a sociopath. I don't know. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Eh? Th that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh eh? Why that all of a sudden? No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. Ah ah! Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Sorry, I'm fidgeting. Then she turns it upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. My pillow's out! Oh yeah, get the pillow! I have my pillow. It's not out yet, though. Just, just save it, guys. Save the comfort, alright? Uh, only two small coins fall out. Ah, ah, ah. 
I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry or wanted an excuse to have a walk. Okay. Or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And so that only leaves one option. Wow! Oh, wow. Voice crack. I give up! <laughs> Don't make me feel guilty! If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty! <laughs> But like I said, no affiliation between me and this character, please. This is... That is horrible. Ah, Yuri suddenly giggles. Eh. <laughs> I didn't notice that she was listening in. This character should just get her a snack. I know, like... Dude, she's, 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 gonna, she's gonna do something bad if you don't. Like, Jesus Christ. Her face is in her book, as always. Ah, ah! I wasn't listening or anything. I w it was just something in my book. <laughs> Yuri! <laughs> Tell woman to let me borrow some money! That's... Don't get me involved like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> ah! Did I just... Uh, moan? <laughs> I, I didn't mean that. I got too absorbed into my book. Ooh! Ah! What is going on with my voice? I'm sorry. I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side to you. Is it like a bedroom... A bedtime story? I feels a bit chaotic for that plus it's about to take a a dark turn you know look at them eyes dude why it okay no we're not, we're not gonna go to it uh that's there's no way you could think that you were right though i just think bad and i have to accept the revolution <laughs> is that a typo the revolution <laughs> revolution <laughs> Retribution. Thank you for the follow, the Mandar- The Mandarin- I'm sorry, I cannot say your name. You're the Mandarin -ya? Thank you. Welcome to the stream. We're just, um, getting into the tougher parts of the story now. And Yuri is once again in a very awkward situation. I'm already confused. I know, this is- This is- This is weird. That- Still coming from you, Sayori. Hi, the Mandarina. Tell me if I'm saying your name wrong, by the way. <laughs> I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? Yeah, inside of you, Yuri. Look at her. Look at that smirk. She's evil. She, I can tell. She's just she's the purple guy from FNAF. <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me- Hold on guys, I'm shutting the door. I know I'm reading fast, but one second. <gasps> I had to shut the door, boys. Sorry, my- The fan was being noisy. You're being noisy! I'm live! I know, Yuri's purple hair is kind of cool. It is. It's one of a kind, one of a kind. Oof. Oof. Sorry, my nail just broke on stream. <laughs> sorry, I'm getting, I keep getting distracted. I'm really sorry. All right. Uh, after all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. Hello, Nibble Cloud. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. But, but, you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So, I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Sayori. Eh <laughs> What was that? Did I just smack her? Brap! Kya! Out of no- 
lower, Sonic smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Oh, I don't think it's my hand. My... <laughs> my limb just detaches and smacks Sayori in the face. Plap is my new favorite sound effect. Plap! Ow! What was... Eh? A, a cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Suri glances around. It, is this a miracle? It's because I played my restitution. <laughs> my restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> Yuri's so smart. I love her. Oh, I was just gonna give it. Oh yeah, guys. Um, people who are new here or just popping in to one of these. I made Natsuki a chav. Natsuki is um a chav, so that's why she's quite deep. Try quite deep and and. She uses the slang, you know? I couldn't stand doing too many high voices, that's why. Because Sayori is annoying, like, to, to voice. But anyway, anyway. I was just gonna give it to you, in it, But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. It was totally worth seeing your reaction, though. Ah! Uh, Natsuki! That's so nice of you! I'm so happy! Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. Sayori rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good! Mm. Sayori suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue! Uh, you're going through a lot over just one cookie, <laughs> right? Natsuki takes a bite of her own cookie. Ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Oh, wow. Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. I already hate Sayori. She... Okay. She's... She can be annoying, but she means well. I think she means well. She's a good person. She's just... She can be a bit clingy, you know? But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. Eh. Siri gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Oh, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off her. High-pitched woman is cursed? I know, it's, it's, it's a scene, isn't it? Hi, <laughs> well, oh yeah, welcome, Warcat. Welcome. Oof, I need to read slower, sorry. Chav woman, yeah. Chav and uh, kawaii um, anime girl, and then just bookish woman, you know? Um, Sayori suddenly leans down and takes a bite out of Natsuki's cookie. H hey, did you seriously just do that? <laughs> Mouthful Sayori trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh. Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Play the game in Japanese? Wait. Um... Besties, I don't know how to do that. Uh... Ah! Oh, God. No! No, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Oh, no! I'm bloody... No, no. Okay, never listen to what Warcat says. Lesson of the day. Oh, why is this? Ew, why is... Go away. Wh Go away! Oh my god. Guys, how do I get rid of that? How do I get rid of that? Oh, I did it, I did it, I did it. It's okay, it's okay. I don't need any of you. Okay. 
<laughs> maybe another time, Walker. Maybe another time. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all, in it. Like me, in it, yeah. Eh? You don't think she. She has a. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. <laughs> Yuri, no! That's kind of sad, Yuri. You should up your self esteem, woman. Oh my god. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Monica's ugly. Hey. Hey. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend? Oh, holy shit, guys. Guys, it's raining. It's raining. I don't know if you just heard that. There was like a big downpour. It was just like a massive... Anyways, uh, yeah. What on earth are you going... Are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Ah, never mind that. What held you up anyway? Also, why are we assuming Monica is straight? I don't know, like, she can have a girlfriend. Maybe that's why she said no. Sky piss? Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Oh, okay. Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ah, uh -huh. that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, uh, I don't really. Oh, thank you for the follow, Monica from DDLC. <gasps> She's following me! Guys! Oh shit, I keep opening the wrong thing. She's following me, guys! <laughs> welcome, Monica, though, welcome! Hi, welcome, Monica. I'm playing your game. I'm playing your game. <laughs> it's scary. It's scary as well. Oh, God. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, ah, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. The stare is like, ugh. Yay! That sounds cool. I'd also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, woman. Whoa! Monica smiles sweetly. Ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently, and I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Not, not really. I choose to leave out Sayori's mischievous escapade. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Siri somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Ah! I suddenly noticed that Yuri is reading a different book from the one we've been reading together. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Ah, no. I was kind of just waiting for you. Oh, guys! Ah, if that's the case, why don't we go ahead and get started? Yes, let's. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. 
If there's one thing that can make my reading time hip any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Really, Yuri? For me, it's a nice line of cocaine. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. These people be struggling with a single cookie when I can eat an entire tray of cookies in two minutes. Walk out! To be honest, yeah, we always, like, fat shame Sayori in this, but it's like, like, I'm worse than her, and cookies don't make you fat, they're just sugary. It's not like she's eating a big slab of meat, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's genuinely confusing. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small- wait, I feel like this is a bit detailed, hold on. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then we'll go get some water. <laughs> she walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply Watch her movements. Oh, it is as well! To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water picture? Pitch? Picture? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk with you. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Hmm, where are you? <gasps> Guys. Okay. I know that canonically, Monica is like, she, she knows this is all a game. I know that much. She's like getting clingier though. as like this act is progressing. Like, have you noticed guys? She's more like, where are you going? Oh, I can come in too. Like, oh, you can always talk to me. Like, you know what I mean? She's... She's creeping me out, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, my nails, like, peeled. It's really annoying. Okay. Hmm, where are you two off to? Eh? We're just... Yuri was going to make some tea, so... I suddenly realise how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. That's kind of a one-person job. Oh! That's... Monica, please mind your own business for Whoa! Whoa! Roasted! Oh my god. Please mind your own business for once. Or do you want to tell me there's something wrong with helping involve woman in the club activity? I oh know! She's a savage! See, because Yuri's also getting clingy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's so good. It's so good. Uh, eh? <laughs> My mouth gapes. Oh, that was... I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Hmm. <laughs> then let's go, woman. Ah. Yuri quickly exits the room and I follow. Once in the hallway, she suddenly puts her forehead against the wall. I spoke without thinking. What? Where's the music gone? Where's the... Pwap! That's <laughs> We need a pwap and an air horn. I, you know what, guys? I'll sort that out. Like, whenever I get Twitch affiliate, let's, like, set up the little, like, um... What's it? Like, the sound effect thing? That'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. Uh, what is she saying? Oh, yeah. I spoke without thinking. How could I say something like that? Yuri, I just, something about the way she said that made me feel so irritated. What's wrong with me? No, Yuri, I think you did the right thing. I wasn't expecting it, but it's also not right for Monica to judge people like that. Woman? Why the sad music? How come even when I do something bad, you're being nice to me? Because nothing that you do is as bad as you make it seem in your head. Nobody's perfect. 
We have emotions and we can't always hide them away. But you always amplify things in your head. Your mind turns a light rain shower into a hurricane. Ah, uh, no. Wouldn't you hate me for something as terrible as that? Why would I hate you? I can't hate for someone for having emotions. What kind of friend would do that? Friend, you say? Ah, um. Yuri lifts her head. Woman, I really like being friends with you. Oh, I'm actually gonna cry. I'm already emotional today, Yuri. Stop. Stop. Yuri, I'm sorry. Yuri's my favorite. Yeah, she's mine too. Then Monica, because she's, she's just kind of, you know, she's pretty cool, but she's also like a psychopath. Ah, thanks, Yuri. I like being friends with you too. I feel kind of awkward saying something like that. But I'm doing my best to help Yuri feel better. Anyway. Ah, yeah. Shall we go? Yeah. Yuri and I walk to the nearest water fountain. Once we fill up the water pitcher, we return to the classroom. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was suddenly fine. Oh. Monica is a psychopathic. She kind of is. Other than for me, she's just like, I love you. And no one else is just like, huh. Woman, do you like oolong tea? Ah, yeah. Why she have a kettle in her? I think she keeps it in the classroom, if I remember. She was like, oh, we keep the wa we keep a whole tea set in the classroom. It's really weird. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. What, Fahrenheit? I hope that's Fahrenheit. That You should not be doing tea at that much. That is not the boiling point of water. Boiling point of water is 100 Celsius. Okay, okay, it doesn't matter. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Ooh -hoo -hoo. <laughs> Oh, hoo -hoo. tea is a ritual. Yuri just does it right, you know. Oh my god. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was just letting it show, and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking, and I decided I would try and express myself a little more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway, oh, we make her so happy, Oh, Ah, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, woman. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know how, if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Woman, I have another request. Oh, God. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? What are we, fucking year twos? Eh, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is! Guys. Hint, hint. I think you guys can imagine so much weight on the front side, you know, such weight on the front side, you know, of the of the her body, you know. Yep. Yuri has a lot to ca to carry. It's a, it's a it's a it's a not a great weight to carry. Okay. It's most likely because my ah my, my your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes, I have terrible reading posture. 
So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of small chocolate candies I kept hidden from Sayori's candy radar. Pasture chair. Oh, yeah. Me and Yuri sitting up straight, you know. The pillow is out now. Oh, let's let me get my pillow. Hold on. Oh, it's nice. So, hold on. Heart pillow. Okay. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. You and I then sit against the wall, teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading positions last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Boy! I can't see too well. Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle! Your teacup? Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's nothing that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. I oh know, Yuri's sweet. Yuri's sweet. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Just, just bend your arm, you know. Just, just, just articulate. Just, just bend like this, and just grab a chocolate like that, and just very comfy, very goddamn comfy. All right, just don't touch her chest, please. <laughs> Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate rabbit. Oh, I'm so awkward. Like, why can't I just read like a normal person? Jeez. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Eh? Are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? When is the chav returning? Oh, soon, surely, because we'll share poems, I think. Are you sure? Of course. I mean, of course... Pog Champ! Look at this cutscene! Oh wow, look at the art. Look at all the particles just floating around. Look at all of that. Oh wow. Sorry, I'm appreciating the art, it's nice. Oh, okay. Yuri opens the book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder time of any harder of a time reading it from it. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on the top of my leg. Oh my god. Guys, guys, she's pretty. She's pretty. She's pretty, guys. She's pretty. <laughs> well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then I take another chocolate and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely normal. She is pretty hot. Damn, shorty, look at that. Look at that hair. She's she's pretty. She's pretty. She's she's a waifu. But that means I can't stop here. Oh my god. I apprehensively place the chocolate into her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... Woman... S sorry. I guess I shouldn't have put chocolate in your mouth. Ah, that's... Well... Y you were just helping. That's something that friends do. Yeah. Very normal. Right... I mean, not really in this kind of context, but 
Yeah. That's all it was. Yeah. Well, then... You don't need to stop or anything. Oh my god! I, I see. The situation has gotten really tense. Yep, yeah, everyone get your pillows. It's got tense. Oh god. Yuri tries to return to the book, but I can tell just by her expression that she can't even focus now. My heart is pounding. I nervously take another chocolate between my fingers. But this time Yuri's eyes meet mine. How did it even come to this? Yuri doesn't avert her gaze. I notice her chest rising and falling to the rhythm of her breaths. I raise my arm. Ah! Like before, Yuri parts her lips, but it's different this time. I take the chocolate and place it into her mouth. Oh! I feel her hot breath on my fingers. jolts back it's time to show power <laughs> it's time to show poems guys definitely wasn't watching you lick each other's fingers oh 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 god oh i think i just choked it's time to share poems Woman, you can help Yuri put away the tea stuff, right? Yeah, of course. Okay, thanks. The spell is abruptly broken. I'll... I'll take care of the cups. Yeah. Yuri picks up the teacups from the floor. I pick up the bag of chocolates. In the end, we hastily clean up without so much as a word between us. I get the feeling this is something neither of us will bring <laughs> have the courage to bring up. Okay, guys, it's poem time. Who should I show my poem to first? Let's go, Yuri. Because she, she talks too much. Let's get it over with, you know? Let's see what you've written today. <laughs> Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Woman, this one might be better than yesterday's. How did you even pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you. Oh no! I just, sorry. Just yesterday, I was telling you this kind of tech, this the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Even her hands appear sweaty. I'm not used to this. Used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience for her. Yeah, just being appreciated like this, I guess. It probably sounds really stupid, but seeing someone motivated by writing, it just makes me really happy. Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Really? I don't believe it. I really only- Oh, I really only write for myself. And besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. I don't share my right- I know, who the hell does? Like, yeah, guys, check out my really cringe, angsty imagery poem. Yeah. Oh my god, no. Huh? Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Y yeah, I do. If it's with you. Ooh. Okay. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My tension was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an un unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences. 
well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity. The raccoon, an urge. The moon increments its, its phase and reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in my eyes of my, un, uh, of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement, a rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feed myself again. Oh! Guys. I I think I, I see the message of this poem, actually. It's quite... I don't know if it's obvious to you guys or not. I think this is actually about, like, some kind of addiction as a symptom the breed my curiosity she has a pet raccoon <laughs> yes guys it's canon guys i actually think she's um she has some kind of addiction she has some kind of problem maybe a mental health problem i'm not sure this this sounds like an addiction though Oh. I thought the player was the raccoon. Maybe. It could be about me. I'm not sure. Weird message. Hmm. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. Mm. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Sorry, my eyes are very itchy. Ugh. Maybe she just loves raccoons. Yeah, maybe she just likes raccoons. You know, we, we don't really know. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. Sorry, my, why is my eye so itchy? I swear to God, if this is my hay fever returning, I'm going to be so annoyed. Oh! Sorry, my eyeball. Uh. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? B because they're embarrassing and people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, woman? Yep, yeah, being a Twitch streamer. I'm not embarrassed of you guys. I'm just embarrassed of saying, yeah, I talk to a camera and go and and I and I and I play video games, you know? Rip woman eyeballs. I know, like are they red? I got hold on. Ugh. Oh no, they're fine. I think there's an eyelash. Oh. Oh, guys. Oh, I'm gonna have to go on a hydration break in a minute. Okay, one second. Let's return to the game. Return to the game. Um, well, yeah, I guess I do, being a Twitch streamer. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, if I if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I would probably hate myself. <laughs> I, I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. You're good at a lot of things. Oh! Writing, listening. There really aren't many people like you, woman. That's exaggerating a little bit. It's just how I feel. I never thought I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing. 
But now, I almost feel like I look forward to it. It's just a really nice feeling. <laughs> Woman eyeball arc. <gasps> and you're to thank for that. It's, it's nothing really. Yuri smiles sincerely at me. For just a moment, her timidness seems to disappear. Who should I share my poem to next? Let's go, Monica. Hi again, woman. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going to be bad. As long as it's not going bad, sorry. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. She's too cheerful? I know, I'm I'm purposely making her voice like very like, 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 I don't know, like, like put on. Like she sounds put on. All right, this one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more con comfortable in with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? I wonder what the chat will say about my poem. Oh, she's gonna hate it. She's gonna absolutely hate it, isn't she? Hmm, I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. I think her poems are the most romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside of her. Mm-hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what's going on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that. You must be pretty into her. Yeah, she knows. I'm into you too, Monica. You just, you're not an option. Eh? You completely misunderstood. Ah, <laughs> calm down. I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. Same, Yuri. My boyfriend doesn't know he's my boyfriend. Guys. In fact, I have like 20 boyfriends. They all don't know they're my boyfriend, but they are my boyfriend. I'm telling you guys. Oh God. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. A fictional one anyway. It's just a hunch, but well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let's have a look. Ooh. Save me. All right. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. RGB. RGB, chat! I'm onto things. I'm onto this. She knows, she knows she's in a game at this point then. Yeah. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, piercing, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a, a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Load me. Load me! Wait, am I meant to actually do something in the files? Load me? Oh. Okay, but anyway, this poem is clearly about her being like, Oh, I hate being stuck in this game. It's torture. I think that's what this means. Flashing, spanning, piercing. RGB. Yeah. And sine, cosine, tangent, that's a weird thing to have in a poem. Load me. Huh. It's pretty weird. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. 
I'm sorry if you don't like it. No one ever said that. It's just the kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day! Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game! What?! Guys! Gu She's breaking the fourth wall, guys! Don't forget to save your game! What?! Okay, wait, wait, wait. You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? Ah! <laughs> That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. That's weird. That is weird. No, that was weird. What? I didn't like that. That's the first, like, fourth wall break we've actually had. Like, uh, the first official kind of thing Ooh. oopsie um okay guys i'm gonna quickly go fill this up and get a snack because hydrating is important so you guys i suggest you to fill up your water bottles or whatever maybe i don't know just stretch or something uh because my voice gets tired from reading it's only been an hour so there'll be another hour of this i thought we'd get some sayori action but i think it comes later on in the story anyway anyway we'll get to it um okay so you guys chill out in chat i will be as quick as i can everyone do 10 push-ups yes go chat go i will be right back oopsie i'll be right back chat thank you uh, i would roll an ad but i'm not twitch affiliate yet because i'm too young ha <laughs> poggers Anyway, I'll be back. I'll be back, guys. Oh, I'm back, lads. Oh, sorry. Let me just get comfy. Oh, my God. Ooh. Man, I was not made for long streams. I literally cannot physically stream past two hours. It's, it's, it's bad. Oh, God. Oh, the music's chill. Oh, I'm glad you think it's chill. It is pretty nice. Oops. Hello. Hello. My mouth tastes like blood. Stefani, are you okay? Jeez. Also, I have some fudge. 
I probably should not be eating this, but do I give a fuck? No. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Just a little snack to carry us through all the trauma, you know. Um. Sorry, I'm messing with the with my sound. Okay. All right, let's continue, lads. Oh, okay. All right, who should I show my poem to? Let's let's do the chav. Um. Well, I can admit that it's better than the last one. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. That's good. But I still don't like this at all. You're trying too hard to be serious in it. Eh, what do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be... Oh, we had a voice crack. Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's going to sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this unless you're at Yuri's level. Natsuki stopped short all of a sudden. D don't tell me. Eh? You're not you're not trying to impress Yuri, are you? What are you what are you talking about? And keep your voice down. You know Yuri would love this kind of- this angsty. <laughs> Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean I- I mean- <clears throat> Looks like I'm in trouble. Dude, what- what's- what's the fuss though? Like, literally, this is the dating sim. Like, you- 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 what's the word? You kind of aim your writing at a person. I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. I'm so done with you. Natsuki shoves the poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a, a younger girl step into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Oh, wow. So she really doesn't like me. <clears throat> Sorry. All right. Sayori. Ooh. I like this one, woman. It has some nice feelings in it. Oh, I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Mm, let me think. I don't know. I guess I like them both. <laughs> That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad, but that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. Depends. Then again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of the whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Ugh, why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Oh, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always think. Uh, I mean, but you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself for once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Which add to my own at one. Everything's very normal. Yeah, it's very normal at the moment, guys. At one. I probably should put that in the title. Hold on. Let me let me edit. Freaking. Oh, it's so long. Um. Guys, I actually think um part three of this stream will actually be the triggering one because I, I forgot how long it takes for it to get a bit gritty. But it's still a bit, you know, off. Um, DDLC part two. There you go. Uh, okay. Yeah, I won. 
If you don't, you might not getting hurt at some point. Eh? Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry, my phone. At one is like six hours. Oh, my God. Bruh. No, I think she things start after this because we've done most of it. We, we've done like almost four hours worth of, you know, stuff. Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try and keep it in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Hmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like sad poems too. Sometimes they're a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most, but sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can help give the rain cloud a little hug. Oh, she means well, guys. She means well. And make a nice happy rainbow. Be who you are. Siori, that's unexpectedly poetic. Eh, it is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. Thanks, woman. I should go write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Ooh. I think all of these poems are kind of an insight into, like, their, their problems. Because... So far, we've had Yuri mention some kind of addiction. We've had Monica talk about her struggles with obviously knowing she's in a game. And now we have, we obviously Natsuki didn't even show us because she doesn't feel it's, we're not personal enough. Okay. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I get so out of breath when I'm reading. Um, bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in bottles, all in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. Sounds like a struggle, that. I blow dust off, the, off, my, bo off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my lot, lot front door. Finally all done, I open up and in come my friends. In they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf, one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Okay, that, that isn't very happy. I thought it'd be cute. Well, this is quite clear. This is like... She's almost like a people pleaser in a way. Like, she's making all her friends happy. She's doing whatever she can to keep them happy more than herself. Like, she's she's forgetting about herself. And then she's like, oh, I'm running out of out of happiness. I'm running out of these, these things. This, like, almost this energy to keep my friends happy. Oh, man! Yeah, Sayori's depressed. Oh, no. Sayori! Holy crap! Sayori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot, and I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. 
It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Oh my god, my phone keeps falling, guys. Oh, let me... Ugh. Okay, there you go. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, there you go. Sorry, guys. There you go. Oh, um, yeah. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Oh, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. I'm so scared because I know the any I know. I know what happens to her. I know she... Something happens to her, but I don't actually know... I don't know. I don't remember, like, the details. Because I've watched loads of playthroughs. But, like, I almost... I've forgotten. Because it. this came out in 2017. So I don't remember much. But I know it ends bad. Oh, God. Dramatic irony. I know. I know. Oh! It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? Uh, well, I hope you keep it up. Yeah, writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Oh, no! Don't say that! Uh, don't get ahead of yourself. Sayori's so always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I know, foreshadowing, I don't like that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Jesus Christ. Oh. Whoo! Pillow! Okay. Okay, everyone! We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if we, if we could all sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put to something, anything good in, together in just a few days, in it. Monica scares me. I know, like, if you notice, she never looks away from the player. Like, she's always just staring, like, unless she's doing that, like, that one position where she's like this, like, her eyes are closed. But, like, she always looks, whereas the others look away. I don't know, it's weird, it's weird, it's weird, I don't know. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. Monica's intimidating. I know she's like... Mm. Mm. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on posters, and I've designed a few pamphlets so we can give out during the event. Event. Okay, that's great and all. That doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. I was going out to the pub with my homies. Don't make me do this. Quap, Monica. <gasps> ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? <sighs> Monica. Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Ma That's like the worst idea I've ever heard, not gonna lie. Sayori's putting it, it on all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Sayori, who's been colouring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Uh, well, I did. I have to go now. Bye. Bye, Stefania. I'll see you in a little bit, all right? I'll be live for probably another hour, so, you know. Eh? Well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Monica is a dominant force, a Latin player. She is, not gonna lie. She's 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 strong female character. Um what, what does he say? Oh yeah. Well no, it's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know. There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. 
Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys! No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Sayori haven't even shared their poems with anyone until it was just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room of four people. I guess it's kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. But I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, Animal Crossing, and having fun! That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to feel the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if it, and if all it takes is standing in front of a room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. <coughs> Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me with no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... It looks like Say uh, Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. <sighs> okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Alright! Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone's expectant faces. Sigh. I guess I don't really have a choice. Aha! That's everyone! You're the best, Yuri! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. <laughs> oh my god! Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. N -n no way! Monica! This is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little bit more comfortable. Can I go next? Ah, uh, of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to the specific poem she had in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting the poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion between each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us will all applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. Th that was so good, Monica! Ah, <laughs> thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go eat next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next- Oh, Yuri! Oh, wow! Yuri's fired up all of a sudden! Yuri clutches the sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at all of- at each of us. You can do it, Yuri! It- it's called... After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transforms into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. Oh! The poem is full of twists and turns, and in its structure, that she insinu- and en, en, en 
example. En enunciate with per perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she's bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins in and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. Aww! It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were s caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back to her into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri is down for the count. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm next then. Suri so hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks over to the poem podium. Oh my god. Oh, this one's called My Meadow. Ah! Ah! Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori, it's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah, try not to think of it like you're assigning it to other people. Imagine you're assigning it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like a soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come out of Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. It hit even woman liked it. Ooh. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time, I'm going to p make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now who's next? Natsuki? Humph. Don't make me go before woman. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let woman lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Jeez. It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. Ugh. It's giving me anxiety just, just like, like they're not even real people. <gasps> Thank you for the follow, Manolia Nya. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Our character is about to start reciting the poem. Um, we're on act one, by the way. So, yeah. Might be into some triggering content a little bit later. But thank you so much for the follow. Thanks for the support. Uh, everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of, of confidence in your writing. That's something that will improve over time though. Yeah, maybe. All right then, that just leaves you Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly, hold on, 
begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? <laughs> because you're presenting. Um, anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's still a little un unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do this again. Ah, well. Do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort to, for the club. It makes me really happy. Ah, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today then. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try and write poems for tomorrow as well. I, it's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day! I can't wait! I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> Poor Yuri! Oh, I feel bad for her. She's just... She's so nervous. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm at... There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, woman. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. You would think this game is so wholesome. Like, the way it's... It's just... This game is incredibly wholesome, but then it's also not at all. Oh, man. Oh, I'm just checking up on the thing. Do, 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 do. Alright. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Oh no! Guys. It's starting. I think it's starting. It's, it's starting. I can't even speak anymore. It's starting though! Oh no. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I, I mean, Sayori fumbles with her words. So let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? You kind of put me on the spot here. <laughs> well oh oh okay guys okay oh it's an option where's my mask on there it is oh 
Oh, guys, I don't know. Because here's the thing. Me, personally, I'd much rather walk home with Yuri because she's my love interest. But I don't want to... We know Sayori has tendencies to be upset. Oh, no. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm, I'm just going to lie to her. I know it feels wrong, but I would still walk home with Sayori, all right? Sayori... You really think I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh? But she's so beautiful and smart. Jeez. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem to really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, woman. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted it, so... Sorry, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what the what's the point in speculating something that's never going to happen? Hmm. The conversation trails off. It's kind of a weird thing for Sayori to care so much about. But I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Yeah, who knows, guys? Oh! Nice. Hold on, hydrating. Oh, uh... oh, man. Oh, God, I got it on my nose. Okay. All right, it's time to write a poem. Um. Okay, yeah. Let's still go for Yuri. Let's still go the Yuri route. I'm still into Yuri. Alright. Uh. Miga. Uh. Ooh. Captive. Uh. Sorry, I'm trying to see if anything could be a. Could be a moniker. Because I know the secret words that she likes. I don't know if it affects anything, but, you know? Uh, let's see. Treasure. Shit. Anxiety. Uh, crimson. Uh, disorientated. Frightening. Uh, horror. Vertigo. Landscape. Embrace. Oh, jeez. Sayori likes loads of these words. Essence. Grief. Oh, what? She likes grief? Oh, man. Breathe. Misfortune. Wait, what? Why does she like all these? Oh, no. Agonizing. There we go. Yeah, agonizing. Woo. Um... Fireflies. Oh, wow. She likes loads of these. Let's see. Cage. Unrequited. Okay. Starscape. Cool. Didn't do too well on that. I think I think Sayori liked too many of them words. It's okay. Oh, man. And the last one here again. Don't worry. I just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't all for you. And I'm super happy that you're willing to help out with the festival too. Oh, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it just yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part in the festival in it. But it's the whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound like a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? Eh? I didn't say I didn't like it. 
Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon Ica. It's a Japanese joke. I don't understand. Hold on. Uh... Make me understand. Yeah, yeah. Please make me understand this pun. One character is Natsuki. Uh. Someone explain that joke to me. Ica means squid. Heh, that was a funny pun. Okay, it means squid. Ha, ah, guys, that was so funny. I understood that immediately. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so accurate. Ha. Ah. Okay. Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Ow. I just, like, butted. Also, that joke didn't make any- Wait, wait, wait. I, I skipped it for some reason. Hold on. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. <gasps> Wait, is that another 4-4 break? That's another 4-4 break. She's, 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 I think she's almost forgetting that they don't know these are just words on a screen. Oh, man. Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our event now, for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's and Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Sayori anyway? Yeah, where is she? Oh, there you are. Sayori's sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah, <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything all right? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Siri shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, all right, if you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already dispersed with everyone back to their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori. Since they've been preparing the festival, they must have been spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica who was shuffling through some papers at her desk. Woman, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but... Have you noticed anything up with Nats- uh, so sorry, Sayori recently? Bye, I unfortunately have to go. Bye, Warcat! <laughs> anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a little downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Oh man, yeah, I don't know what's going on with the viewers. Also, walk out. would you mind not telling me the viewers? Because I, I actually have the viewer count off. Because it's just, it's, 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 it's a bit sad. It's a bit sad, my viewer count. Oh man. Ugh! I don't know why, my, my streams were doing very well at one point. I don't know if it's the algorithm. Alright, bye Warcat. Have a good one. Oh, okay. Maybe there is something on my mind, but I'm surprised I'm not the I'm not the one asking you, woman. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about the things that bothered her, but this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. Sorry, I know it isn't your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it now. No, no, it's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has had a hard time bringing up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? 
I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, woman. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Suri talks about you more than anything else, you know? Eh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside her. What? No way. Suri is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it's always been. <laughs> You're so funny, woman. Have you thought that maybe you've always seen her so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget what about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get the words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. She's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear her. I sigh and sit myself down. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but it's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weigh me down so much? Now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of ordinary. But there's nothing I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly I notice Yuri peering at me from over a book. But she looks away just as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realise that she won't get anywhere like, like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone or start a conversation on her own accord. So I've no choice but to approach her myself. By now, it's a little easier for me to do that. Ugh! Sorry guys. Sorry, I was having a, having a moment. Sorry, I'm just editing something. There you go. Okay. Oh man, okay. I stand up from my desk and sit in the one next to her own. I don't mean to bother you or anything. Relax, you didn't even do anything. But I could tell that you wanted to be alone with your thoughts. Alone with my thoughts? How were you even able to tell that I was thinking like that? Well, it's something that I do a lot. So it's not hard for me to face to spot based on your posture and expression. She's so smart, man. Oh. There we go. Not that I was staring or anything. I didn't do anything creepy like that. In any case, I guess... Oh, 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 sorry. In any case, I guess you were right. I'm sorry if I caused you any concern. Cause for concern. Lovejoy reference. Don't apologize. Your troubles are only the concern of those who willingly share in that concern. Of course, there are certainly those who find most comfort in keeping to themselves. But if you would prefer to share what's on your mind, then I would be glad to listen. Ah, oh, it's really not that big of a deal. I was just feeling a bit uneasy about Sayori. Sayori? Yeah, she seems a little off today, but when I asked her about it, she didn't want to admit to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh, that's quite romantic. Eh? S sorry, I didn't mean to say something stupid. It's not that, I just didn't want you to misunderstand. Sayori and I have just been friends for a long time, that's all. Ah, I see. Then perhaps it's unusual for her to be dismissive to you about her feelings. Or maybe I'm just really into it all a little too much. Woman. The world is full of meaning, often hidden deep beneath plain sight, and there are many untold mysteries behind every person, no matter how well you may know them. Ah! So you think that there might be something behind it all? Mm-hmm. I think that Sayori is quite a complex person. Her mannerisms on the outside don't always match what may be going on inside her head, and she may not always know what she wants. I've no I noticed a strange behaviour today too. 
and I also feel some concern for her. But in your case, it looked like she was fully occupying her, your thoughts, wasn't she? Well, I guess that was the case. Sayori, she, she really means a lot to you, doesn't she? I guess. But you don't need to put it that way. Mm. Oh, there's no, no bloody water. Oh, I was going to say we have a hydration break, but there's like literally like f a few minutes left of the stream. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. We're good friends, that's all. Yuri suddenly looks deeply into my eyes. Her expression is gentle and curious as if she was searching for something. I love her character. It's so cool. Embarrassed, I avert my gaze. Sometimes a person's mysteries are untold even to themselves. And you, as someone honest and caring, may uncover feelings you weren't aware were in you. That is, I think that she would be a very fortunate person to have you feel that way about her. Yuri, you're giving me too much credit. I'm a pretty simple woman. So I think I'm pretty good at understanding my own feelings. I'm not nearly as sophisticated as you. Ah, that's not a compliment, is it? It is what it is. It is what it is. As long as we're here, why don't we do some reading? Well, as long as you're okay with it. Yeah, I should be taking my mind off this whole thing anyway. Oh. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles with me. Oh, smiles at me. I wonder what she's talking about with Sayori. Oof, it's a bit weird. Seems a bit sus to me. All right, let's try and quickly go through these. I don't want to spend forever on this. Woman, your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. Is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something and you've never shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, Yuri smiles sadly. Oh no, it's gone sad again! Oh my god. Woman, during lunchtime I eat by myself. Oh, Yuri, no! Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's the one way to put it anyway. But books are f so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just know would make a really good friend. It's true. Like, I read, f like, a lot lately. I've been reading a lot. Like, my bookshelf's just here. And <laughs> Miss Girl knows what she's on about. Ugh. Anyway. Uh, Cheerful people al who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it in that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day, you know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And, and they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. People say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all woman. I'm the, it's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't know how to make myself happy. I have all these feelings. And all I can do with them is read and write. Oh, Yuri! I didn't know she got this emotional in at one. Like, 
But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you that I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. The bare minimum, Yuri. I'm back for more. Stefania, I'm so glad you're back. <laughs> the viewers have been so bad, so I'm glad you're back. Oh, welcome back, Stefania. Oh, God. You didn't miss much. We basically just talked with Yuri. And, like, Sayori was acting a little sad, a little quiet. And now we're getting bloody lectured by, um, by Yuri. So, that's what's going on. She's basically like, I eat alone at lunch. I didn't have anyone until you came here. It's like, calm down, woman. I'm just doing the bare minimum, you know? Like, she's, she's pretty passionate about these things. Uh, what she say? Oh, yeah. Siri could be jealous? I think she is. I think she really is. Thank you for coming back, Stefania. I was beginning to get discouraged because my chat went quiet after Warcat left. But yeah, thank you, thank you. All right. That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, woman. I speak too slowly. I second guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me like everyone else. It's so rare that I could feel comfortable myself when I talk to others. So that's why I, every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I ate very quickly to return. Stefania, thank you. That means so much to me. I should bring back the uh, the loyal like supporter role in my Discord because you'd have it. Like you you are the best Twitch viewer at the moment. Because I don't know I don't know what's going on. Right, I don't know if it's the algorithm, but it's been very weird lately. Like you know. I don't know. I don't know. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them! I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Uh, um, if you put it that way. Yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Yuri puts her head in her hands. But this time she's smiling as she does it. Oh! Oh, welcome, Triologix. Strange, we have, like, view peaks. It's very odd. Welcome back. Welcome back, my dude. It's, like, 9pm and I just had my tea. Oh, yeah, I should probably consider the the time zones. Yeah, okay. Uh, do you want me to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Or do you- oh, sorry, I read it wrong. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah. Okay. Let me get it for you. Ooh! Ghost Under the Light? Part 2? I don't- I do not remember this. But we've already seen- we've already seen Ghost Under the Light. Part 2? Hold on. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. In the distance, a blue-green light flickers. A lone figure crosses its path, a silhouette obstructing the eerie glow. My heart pounds. The silhouette grows. Closer and closer, closer. I open my umbrella, casting a shadow to shield me from visibility. But I'm too late. This is a yummy stream? Thank you! Thank you, Stefania. Uh, what was I? Oh yeah. Casting a shadow to shield me from visibility, but I'm too late. He steps into the streetlight. I gasp and drop my umbrella. The light flickers. My heart pounds. He raises his arm. Me when I'm on the sidewalk. If I don't make it to the end of the block. Before the car, I'm gay. Oh, man. Intrusive thoughts. Hey, be who you are, man. Be who you are. There's nothing wrong with being gay. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Tune stops. The only indicator, in the only indication of movement, it's the amber light flickering against his outstretched arm. I'm assuming this is me because I'm a him in this game. Like you don't get to pick a gender. You're just, you're you're a boy and you're a he him. 
the flickering light is in rhythm with my pounding heart, teasing me for su succumbing, succumbing to this forbidden emotion. Have you ever heard of a ghost feeling warmth before? Giving up on understanding, I laugh. Understanding is overrated. I touch his hand, the flickering stops. Ghosts are blue-green. My heart is amber. Oh, it's about me! I didn't know what this was about! The blue-green hue of the future. That was me! Oh, I get it. Lol, I'm straight. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed. Well, well done. I think. How do, what do I even- how do I even respond to that? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Finishing the poem, I start to hand it back to Yuri. But instead of taking it from me, she looks away. Do you dislike it? Ah, no, of course not. I just don't really know how I should respond. Despite Yuri's poems usually being cryptic, it wasn't hard to figure out what this one was about. I- I don't know if I'll be able to explain this one. That's fine. I understand this one. Yuri is having an even harder time speaking than usual. Does this one mean a lot to you? Yuri nods. I'm not really good with words, but I'm happy that you shared it with me. So thank you. I hope we can keep spending time together. Despite my inability to make eye contact, I see a faint smile emerge on Yuri's lips. Uh, oh, look at her. You see a little smile. Oh. I once again try to hand the poem back to her, but instead, Yuri gently takes my hands and pushes them back toward me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. The pillows are back and I'm getting sweaty. Oh god, yeah. This one is bloody squashing me. Put it back behind me. I hesitate in response to her warm touch. Whoa, whoa! You can, um... Poem is... Once again, Yuri fails to form a complete sentence. You mean I can keep it? Yuri nods. I'd love to. Again, Yuri faintly smiles as if she doesn't want me to notice. You always... You always make me feel nice. Oh! I know I'm not good with people, but... I hope that I can return the favour sometimes. Yeah. Don't worry. I think you'll do a good job. Yuri finally turns back toward me. I guess we should move on before Monica says something. But I'm sure we can talk again later. Yeah, I'm sure we will. With that, Yuri timidly smiles at me and I return to my seat so I can put her poem away. Oh, that was cute! Yuri makes me happy. I know, I'm like, that's that was sweet. That was really sweet. I was saying, like, while you weren't here, like... She has the sweetest, like, kind of, I don't know. She has, she has this way. She's, 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 she means well. She's very sweet. Monica! Hi, woman. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people? I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Oh my god, after all these poems, I'm gonna have to end off stream. I can feel my voice, like, breaking. The one-on-one -on -one bits with Monica terrify me. I know, just Monica! Just Monica! Look at her. I sometimes get scared that, like, if I click on history, it's gonna be, like, all glitched out. How much Monica talks? Like, she doesn't shut up. Oh god. Without the I and replace an A with an E. Just monkey! Just monkey! Sure. Oops. Your style's gotten so refined, woman. Yuri's been teaching you a lot of things, hasn't she? Well, I guess so. Yeah, I've been noticing how much time you spend with her. I think I've heard her say more words these past couple of days than she's taught for the whole year. Not sure how you did it, but it's pretty impressive. Uh, sorry, I got lost then. <laughs> well, she just needs some patience and a way to talk about all the things in her head, I guess. I'm still getting the hang of it myself. Hmm. You're certainly putting in a lot of effort. 
You must really like her. Eh, that's... Ah! It's awfully suspicious, you know. Oh, sus! Monica said sus. Spending time with her in the club room every day. Reading that ev edgy novel with her. <laughs> that edgy novel with her. Well, I just feel bad that she has a hard time socializing. Makes me want to make sure she doesn't spend all her time alone. Besides, the novel isn't too bad either, you know. All right, all right. I get you. Just be careful, all right? I know that Yuri isn't used to opening herself up. So if something bad happens while she's vulnerable, it could be really hard for her. Her books aren't a total escape from reality. They're just a bandage. You say that like I'm going to hurt her. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. If anything, she might accidentally hurt herself. Oh, God. Oh, man. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, right? Uh, all right. Mm. Okay. Foreshadowing? I know, I do, I do not like all this foreshadowing going on. All right. Monica's wrote us The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale tells of, an, of a lady who wanders earth, the lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather, lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. Well, there's a guy called Legend in my Discord, but he's a dickhead. Anyway. But when all else has failed me, when all lovers have turned away, the legend is all of all that remain all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twill twill twillet sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow. I fall. And I fall and I fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the form and thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat and I pick up a gust of wind. It's about legend who thinks he knows everything. <laughs> Wait, that's true, actually. Legend's like, oh my god, guys. Windy, you do realize you could do this, right? He's mansplaining. Imagine legend join right when you said that. Yeah, no, 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 because legend, right? He mansplains. He's mansplaining. Oh. Oh, my mouth is so dry. Oh, my god. Well, this is either about bloody legend, or this is about, obviously, just her epiphany. Her, like, oh, I know this is a game. I think. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Ahaha, <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Monica is so wise, man. She, she is the lady who knows everything. Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. Whoa, she knows. She knows. Hold on, hold on. If any of you missed that. Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. Because the game is two-dimensional. We're figuring things out, guys. Oh. Oh, it's so creepy. It's so weird. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Oh, is this going to be another fourth wall break? 
Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll start to focus more on everything that went into it and the things that you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. All right, well, that was that was actually surprisingly normal then. Mm, okay. Chav! Yeah, it's Chav time, boys. Lol, the game is reminding you that you'll never be able to. Why, why would I say this? Mwah. Yeah, no thanks. Eh, you didn't even... Next! Wow! Chav really just said no. No in it. You're absolutely... Oh my god, you're actually stanky, yeah? Not peng. Man's not hot. That's what she's saying. Alright then, sorry. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. Oh, no! Oh, no! Sayori's, like, beginning to... Oh, no, she's like, my opinions don't matter. It's okay. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Eh? I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, I, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, woman. Sayori, is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> All right, just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. If I could say anything, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. Okay, you three. Oh, man! Oh, wow. Let's save. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh. Oh, man! That was... That was... That was something. That was a bit... That was... Okay. That was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. Uh, that's all I'm gonna have for you guys today. Um, uh, one second, guys, before you leave. I'm gonna host someone. Slash host. Oh, okay. Uh, let's, let me see who's live right now. Spicy stream? I would make a doki mod if I could, so they would say, We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um... Who should we host? Guys, can you spam raid in her chat and see if we get a notice? Let's raid just a minx. Why not? Why not? Okay. Uh, one second, lads. About to raid someone. Uh, uh, let me do this. Okay. Slash host just a minx. All right, lads. All right. Bye, lads. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Woo!